Especially at night. Do what it takes to stay warm. Cut down trees, strip the wood off buildings, collect paper, scavenge furniture. If it produces heat, burn it. The old rules don't exist. Not anymore. Voice of survival, out. Stampton Bridge. The fastest way out of town. That is, if you can get us past those baton-wielding goons. We're getting out of here, one way or another. Follow my lead. You have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used at any time. Please... Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot, help keep the heat off Zeke and me. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people will get the hell kicked out of them. I'm starving in here! Please, let me out of here! I didn't...
Razor wire machine guns. Zeke made a break for it. Smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit and fell headlong to the harbor. And I moved faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband, John, had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons, a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some 